Yo, what is up everybody? My name is Jason Din and welcome to part one of a series of tutorials on the basics of Elasticsearch. Just to give you a little background, Elasticsearch is a distributed RESTful search and analytics engine. It's the search engine for a lot of um, so for all intents and purposes, you can really just think of Elasticsearch as essentially a RESTful API that wraps around a NoSQL data store and Lucene, okay? Now, keep in mind that Elasticsearch is a Java application, right? And Lucene is a Java library, okay? And this might get into the weeds of things, but Lucene is really just there for the full text search capabilities. All right. We can dive into that a little bit more in a couple of videos later on. Uh, but for right now, the more relevant aspect to Elasticsearch for us is that it's RESTful, which means that you can issue requests to Elasticsearch over HTTP because HTTP is the language of the web, you can use any programming language you want that speaks HTTP. Anywho, that's enough of the boring stuff. Let's go ahead and get our hands dirty. Go on over to the Elasticsearch download page. All right, and then we're gonna download Elasticsearch version seven. I'm on a Mac, so I'm gonna go ahead and download for Mac. All right, guys, so I do suggest that you move your zip file, or if you already unzipped it, you know, go ahead and just move it into a, some type of workspace, some type of Elasticsearch workspace, okay? Right here, I have, I called my Elasticsearch workspace tutorial. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just um, unzip this bad boy. Un or untar. Well, bam. Got a bunch of good stuff. All right, and then uh, now go ahead and run Elasticsearch by executing the executable within the uh, this Elasticsearch file. I mean directory here. So let's take a peek in there. Let's see, so it should be in your. Uh, bin directory. So let's take a look at in there. What is in bin? Gotcha. This is like search executable in there. So let's go ahead and run it. Okay. Uh, Alrighty. Just give it some second for Elasticsearch to boot up. Um, and then we're going to now go ahead and ping Elasticsearch with curl. Okay, so let's, eh, let's do a horizontal. Um, we're gonna do a little curl command, curl HTTP. So Elasticsearch is exposed through uh, port uh, 9200, all right? Underscore cat and health. Oh, let me zoom that in if you guys can't see. Boom, and we get a response from Elasticsearch. Congratulations, if you see this response, then you successfully pinged Elasticsearch and Elasticsearch is up and running. Alrighty, now using curl to issue HTTP requests to Elasticsearch is going to be a tedious pain in the ass. To make our life easier, okay, we're going to use Kibana to make our requests. Alright, now just to give you a little quickie, Kibana it's essentially an IDE for Elasticsearch. 
While it's mainly known as a visualization tool for Elasticsearch, there's actually quite a bit more to it. Um, I wish someone had told me this before, but there's actually a neat little dev tools console in the Kibana where you can make Elasticsearch requests with some nice little IntelliSense. All right, let's go ahead and download this bad boy. All right, head on over to the download section and get your cabana. All right, so by now you guys should have already downloaded cabana and moved it into your workspace. We're gonna go ahead and run it. And running it is the same, kind of like the same way you would run Elasticsearch, okay? It's in the bin directory. Pretty easy. Just give it some time. Be patient. Look at that. All these greens and yellows. All right, so it looks like right here, the message looks like Cabana is up and running at localhost 5601. All right, so now go ahead and go to localhost 5601, and that should bring up Kibana. And like I said before, Kibana is usually known as a visualization tool, okay? So if you expand the little left side panel, um, you can see all stuff, so, uh, most notably the visualize section um, and uh, canvas, maps, whatever, but what we're really most interested in right now is the DevTools console, okay? This is where all the magic happens, all right? So we're gonna go ahead and ping Elasticsearch. Look at that, do an issue a get request. See, I told you I wasn't lying about the whole IntelliSense thing. I'm gonna do a get request against uh, cat, underscore cat, uh, it's just one of the many uh, kind of like batteries included endpoints uh, that comes with, that Elasticsearch exposes, okay, for really just managing and just gathering uh, metadata or just the health of your Elasticsearch cluster, okay? Underscore cat, uh, we do with the same health ping, and voila, congratulations. You've just pinged Elasticsearch one more time. <laughs> Alrighty guys, that should wrap up part one on this tutorial series on Elasticsearch. If you like what I'm doing so far, please remember to subscribe. Peace.